Matt Morris. Welcome to the Unemployed Millionaire Show. Coming to you from, yes, you guessed it, the Eiffel Tower here in Paris. Let's see if I can get all that up. Anyway, um, beautiful day. As uh, you can see, there are a ton of people. We were here a couple years ago and um, we came during the week and there was no one there. It's a Saturday afternoon. So quick lesson, come during the week when uh, there's no one here. So we, uh, we forgot about there being this many people here. But anyway, I wanted to record a quick show. And you know, as you look at the Eiffel Tower, especially when you go up on top of it and you look down, um, it is just magnificent. It's hard to believe it was so big. In fact, when it was created, I think it was in the uh, late 1800s, they created it. It was actually originally going to be uh, for a fair. So it was gonna be temporary. If you can imagine, this was gonna be a temporary structure. Um, but everyone loved it so much, they ended up obviously keeping it. And uh, you know, one of the most iconic sites in the world. So hard to believe, and it makes me think of a topic that I think can help you guys tremendously. In fact, this may be one of the most important lessons I've ever done. And it's the number one reason why people don't join you in network marketing. And you know, when I speak to crowds, I'll ask this question a lot and people will say, you know, it's lack of money, it's lack of time, it's, um, you know, they gotta think about it, talk to the spouse, all these reasons. And those are reasons, normally those are just smoke screens. That's not really the reason why they're not joining. I'm gonna tell you right now, the number one reason why people don't join you, it's always a lack of belief. They just don't believe, truly, that they could be successful with it. So it's a lack of belief in a handful of things. It's a lack of belief in network marketing. You know, maybe they've got a bad experience or they've heard something bad about it or they just don't understand the scale. And so what you can do as a professional network marketer is go out and learn about the industry. Learn that it's a $178 billion a year industry. If you compare that to the movie industry at $80 billion, I mean, network marketing is giant. You got some of the most wealthy people in the world that endorse us, that actually own, Warren Buffett owns network marketing companies. And so when you become a pro, you can educate people and give them belief about network marketing, okay? So one of the other reasons why they don't join is the lack of belief in your company. And so you wanna get good at giving people belief in your company and in your products. Because if they don't believe in your product, then they're very unlikely to wanna to join and market the product, okay? So another one, and this is one of the biggest reasons, is a lack of belief in themselves. See, most people, when it comes to being an entrepreneur, it's new for them. They haven't done something like that in the past, or maybe if they have done network marketing before, they failed. They didn't have success, they quit, whatever. Um, and so you've got to reinforce the fact that, you know, we have a system, a proven system that will work, that has worked for many other people, it can work for them. And sometimes, even though there's overwhelming evidence, there's overwhelming proof that so many other people have had success, it doesn't matter because they don't see themselves being that type of person. And what you end up doing, when you become a pro, when you get really good, you learn to help give people belief in themselves. And sometimes it's just as simple as looking someone in the eye and saying, you can do this. You can absolutely do this. Someone as sharp as you with your charisma, with your personality, you can do this. Are you ready to get started? And that's all they need. They need the belief in themselves. And I'm gonna tell you one other thing, and this is something that is not spoken about a whole lot, and it's one of the big reasons, is they don't have belief in you. <laughs> they don't have belief that you could actually help them. And you know, sometimes we talk about you know you being the messenger and not the message and all that. But if you really want to be a pro, you can't just rely on the message. You, you, you know, you can't just rely on your opportunity presentation or your product presentation or you know whatever it is. They're looking at you, saying, "Wow, can I follow them? Can they really help me?" And so that's where, and this was a huge breakthrough in my career in network marketing, is when I learned to actually show people that I was worthy of them following. And that can be very simple as well. Instead of just purely sorting, and I do believe that you know we're in the business of sorting versus selling, and the people you have to convince to join, in many cases, you're gonna have to convince them to do anything. So it is more of a sorting than a selling business, but if you wanna improve your results, then get good at letting people know that you can help them. 
And this was the breakthrough for me. I had no results for five years. I finally decided to step up. Finally, I was gonna step up and be a leader. And I just learned what my mentor Wayne, he started, what he said to me, he said things like this, listen, if you put 10 people in front of me on a bad day, I'll close half. Little things like that. It's not saying I'm the leader, it's not saying I'm a stud, but they get the point, right? And so I'll give you one of the best closing lines in the world is, listen, you put people in front of me, um, you lock arms with me, and if you'll be coachable and teachable, I won't let you fail. You ready to get started? Okay. That is showing them that you believe in yourself. And you know that's one of the most important parts of leadership actually is confidence. And when you can display that confidence, that's gonna improve your recruiting skills. And so listen, huge results in network marketing, momentum, success, it all comes from belief. We'll do more shows on belief later but that covers it for now. So appreciate you tuning in. If you feel like this can help some others, definitely share it around. If you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, hop over to mattmorris.com, put your name and email address in, and I'll shoot you over a free training that I did for you. Take care, go make life an adventure.